Mr. Gokula Krishnan, uh, who said that we should say? <laughs> we were gracious enough. Uh, Thank you, Vice, Vice yes. Chairman, sir. The Chit Funds Amendment Bill 2019 is introduced to amend the Chit Funds Act 1982. It ensures transparency in Chit Fund schemes and aims to protect subscribers. It also facilitates the orderly growth of the Chit Fund sector to remove bottlenecks and enable greater financial access to people. The bill was referred to Standing Committee on Finance for recommendations and now brought out in the interest of protecting the money for the economically weaker sector. Sir, the chit funds are popular among low-income families as they offer both access to funds and options to save. There, there is a dire need to protect investors' interests. The chit funds play a crucial role in India's rural economy, providing people with easy access to funds and wider investment opportunities. In the recent past, we have come across several alleged frauds pertaining to chit fund companies as they lewd, gullible investors to deposit money in the schemes in <coughs> view of abnormally high returns and subsequently closed without any announcement, leaving the poor people in the lurch. Since 2016, the Reserve Bank of India has received over 5,200 complaints related to chit fund scams. Injustice to customers is not only from the small-scale chit fund operators, but also from the organized in financial institutions like chit fund companies and banks. Therefore, both of them should not be treated at par in case of default or cheating. This bill also raises the monetary limits for chit funds by three times, thereby the maximum amount of chit fund collected by the individual is up to three lakhs, and by the firms which have more than four partners is up to 18 lakhs. The individual operators should not be subjected to undue regulations, since most of them are housewives and middle class men, it may be difficult for them to maintain records as stipulated in the bill. Better, it may be exempted. The bill also raises the commission for the person who is named as foreman to manage the fund to 7% from the current 5%. It also allows him a right to lean against the credit balance from subscribers. The bill further proposes to allow, allow the subscribers to join the process of drawing chits through video conferencing. This is, a, this is in line in the current, with the current age, with the current age and therefore it is welcome. The Honorable Minister for Finance, Honorable Minister for Finance, Honorable Minister for State for Finance had stated that there are more than 30,000 registered chit funds in the country but the unregularized chit funds would be more than 100 times the number and the money flow in this sector would certainly be phenomenal. Perhaps because of that, the bill aims to bring more people under the formal sector. This, this is a welcome decision, but government should consider that the small-scale operators are functioning under harsh economic conditions. Therefore, care should be taken that they are not subjected to undue harassment. Otherwise, they, they may quit the business much, quit, quit the business much to the hardship of the rural people. As a result, this will only aggravate the unemployment problem, especially in the semi-urban and rural areas. The government should come up with more stringent legal provisions against the big players who fly away with the hard-earned money of the poor investors. The poor people who invest in chit funds at a very low maturity amount of rupees 10,000 to 50,000, comprising a group of people which is all manned by an individual. This amount will be used by them at the time of emergency, say health problems, urgent family expenses, agricultural use, etc. For this, for all these purposes, 
there is no present system available with the bank to help them on need basis. That is why they turn to the practice of saving their money through, invest, through investment in chit fund in order to get minimum monthly dividend. Presently, the government has increased the GST to chit fund from 10% to 12%. When we insist on saving, this will only add to the woes of the subscribers. As a measure of encouraging savings, pay, paying 12% GST is a huge burden on them, and ultimately there will not be any gain on their path, forcing them to close their chit fund. I would request the Honorable Finance Let's Minister <coughs> to keep the GST for the large-scale operators Thank you, at 12 percent. Sir, one, 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 one second. And exempt the small-scale small small investors totally. When these amendments come into force, the government of Tamil Nadu has to issue mm -hmm. notification with regard to prescription of amount yes. of shit. With this, I support the bill on behalf of my party. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much.